some luck, some other spacecraft, something, because with what we have now, it's going to be finished. As an astronaut, you feel excluded to a particular group of people, and uh, those are the people which have the majority. <laughs> they are you, not being aware of the danger in which you live. But now suppose I'm going to change all of you. Suppose I can transfer the experience which I have to, to you. Then you would go out and see the earth and you would see the blue sky. Not the blue sky which you see when you're outside. In space you see that you're the only one. You're the only planet. You have no spare. And so you have to take care of this one and only planet. Our Earth has cancer. I have cancer too. And most people with cancer, they die. When in fact, <laughs> everybody will die. But we make enough people to continuously survive mankind on the Earth. We need to conserve our own planet. And you, when you have, I say, the spirit and, and the inside and the attitude of a astronaut, you start to love the Earth in a way other people can't. And if you really love something, you don't want to lose it. You know, my wife, <laughs> she doesn't want to lose me. She wants to do everything. So she has to stay alive. That's the love and attitude which humankind should get to the earth. <laughs> <laughs>